all are begging for high blood pressure in the early grave. Hot Cheetos over over nacho cheese and 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 and, and what's that? And, and ground beef and all of that, bro. What would be wrong with y'all? Like, what is that? Three burgers and chicken on a skewer? Oh my goodness. Damn, this is a Satan, this is a demon possessed person that's looking at us right now. That's close, that's close as hell to the goddamn screen. I can feel that in my chest right now. If you're going on this tangent, you know all of the disadvantages we got when it comes to getting healthy food and all of that. Why would you sit up there and spew out your mouth that we shouldn't be going on diets? We should eat everything. Bro, this woman worked for the damn devil, y'all. This is the problem with black people, bro. Hurry up and make me buzz, cause my magic on the way. And I bet when she touch down, it's gonna be games and I'm gonna play. What's the deal? You already know what it is back in the front of another video. The mmm, talk about to my young boys, maybe girls. But nah, today, we got an interesting one. Today, we about to be talking about. Whatever this is, I don't even know what this is. I haven't watched it yet. I seen another YouTuber react to it. I seen another YouTuber react to it, and um, I was like, you know what? This 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 is gonna be interesting. I just feel like it's gonna be interesting because because like, bro, I got a personal testimony when it comes to if this is about. I'm pretty sure this is about you know the the spirit of gluttony, and I got my own testimony about that spirit and dealing with it and just just last night type shit just last night bro i didn't just i just didn't went through some shit so i got a personal testimony when it comes to this type of shit that i want to drop because i felt like it's real important after the, what i experienced last night to bring it to y'all and let y'all know like this shit is very real bro this shit is very real and it's very much so out here and it's and it's and it's and it's is 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 purging america right now Sorry about this, but yeah, for real though. Let's just get let's just get into it, dog. Let's just get into it. Let's see what they're talking about. All right, come on. Where my sound at? Quit playing with me. Let's get it. Oh yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all of that good things. Like the video. Make sure you 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 like the video. Don't be a bot. Like the video because it helps the channel out. It helps me get pushed into the algorithm. And then we can all be lit. We can all be lit together. So, boom. You know, turn on the bell because I do all of this live. And then if you happen to catch the live stream before we, you catch it on the playback, you can come in here. We can chop it up. We can talk it up and do all that good type of stuff. So, make sure you do all of those things. You know, subscribe, of course. But let's get it. Los Angeles School District. Post ultra woke message on food. Standard of health again, aren't you? Guilty. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm. You're judging my food choices based on a false standard of health again, aren't you? Guilty. Parents advocate. Oh shit. Parents advocacy. Parents advocacy group is calling out the Los An Angeles United School District after its human relations, diversity, and equity. Equity department posted this woke message on food. Donuts. Those are so bad for you. Oh no, are they moldy? I mean, no. are they poisoned? Did, are you allergic? No, I'm just saying. Mm. You're judging my food choices based on a false standard of health again, aren't you? Guilty. Diet culture, fat phobia, and systems of oppression have created false hierarchies of food and it shows up everywhere. For instance, harmful thought patterns like earning food through exercising or that dessert is the reward for the punishment. Man, I swear it'd be like that. I'm not gonna lie. They're trying to say this is a bad thing right there? When you feel like you gotta earn food through exercise? Bro, I feel like if I ain't exercise, I didn't even earn the right to eat certain stuff. Like, if I ain't, if I ain't burned said amount of calories and did this, 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 and that, bro, I feel like I don't even, if I eat some bullshit, I feel like I, I, I don't even deserve to eat it. I don't even, I feel like I don't even be deserving to eat it. Or if, if, um, 
if uh if I do eat some bullshit, I feel like I gotta work this shit out the next day. Like that's that's how is this uh, how is this unhealthy though? Eating vegetables. Remember. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Or that dessert is the reward for the punishment of eating vegetables. Well, I mean, shit, eating vegetables and shit do feel like a punishment. I feel like, but also, I think, I think veg, is vegetables really, it just depends on, you know, how you season or whatever vegetables. Is that, is that like a bad thing? Is you not supposed to season vegetables? Because vegetables don't have to be a punishment. Some niggas like vegetables. I personally like very few vegetables, but I don't, I'm not, I was, and I grew up, I hated vegetables growing up. I think everybody did, though. Them mixed vegetables, bro. Bro, mixed vegetables used to be so foul with the, with the, what was it? It was carrots, peas, I think it was a string bean, and corn. Bro, mixed vegetables just used to be so foul, bro. Like, that, like out of the pack from the freezer, and they just throw my, what, bro, your parents just throw it in the oven. Not in the oven, but on, on a pot. Oh, my God. And then just, it's like it was no flavor on them joints. You just had mixed veg, dried mixed vegetables. Let's go. Remember that you do not need to earn food. We are all incorrectly taught from a young age that our. See, are we about to listen to her? See, they're about to be on my head. Man, I promise you, bro. I seen a video where they was talking about. Um, let me just see what she got to say. Thighs, and therefore the foods that we eat are markers of our self worth. Moralizing food can lead to harmful relationships with food. And disordered eating. Instead, is this not a harmful relationship with food? I'm genuinely curious. Is this not a harmful relationship with food? Come on now. I mean, bro, I seen the video, bro. If you ask anybody, we can have all these Lizzo's and out here, and they want to sit up there and and say, you know, you fat shaming and all that other stuff. But if if we was to ask any big person. If they had the option to just hit a button and, rev and and just go to skinny, would they do it? Ten times out of ten, they do it, bro. This is just, bro. This whole stipulation is just like the other the other shit, where niggas don't want to put the work in, bro. Niggas don't want to put. It's too much work to hit the gym and sit up there and do and eat right and watch your calories and all of that. It's a hundred times easier to just. Eat some McDonald's, eat some Coney, eat some White Castle, eat some Taco Bell, and then just be like, hey, it is what it is. Bang a hundred cupcakes and just be like, hey, it is what it is. Because that's the spirit of gluttony, bro. One of the devil's biggest tricks was convincing. One of the devil's greatest tricks was convincing people that he didn't even exist. And that's what that goes with. The lust and all that. So we could talk about lust, modern women, and all that shit all day. But the devil operates in everything, bro. The devil is in every aspect of his life. And that also includes the food. And that also includes this mentality of, oh, it's a bad thing to watch what you eat. It's a bad thing to sit up there and think all food is good food. Not that. Thinking it's a good thing to say all food is good food. Even though we got dietary laws in Leviticus that tells us what to eat and what not to eat. And then niggas gonna say, oh, the law's done away with it. We're saved. Man, Christ said, I come not to do away with the laws of the prophets. I come not to do away. He came to not do away with the foundation that the prophets let down with the law. And he said, until heaven and earth pass away, not one jot nor tittle will pass away from the law. But the law is done away with. So let's keep on going now. Damn. Moralizing food can lead to harmful relationships with food and disordered eating. Instead of focusing on good and bad choices, try to approach food with neutrality in mind. The only foods are. Is this somebody approaching food with neutrality? Bad for you are foods that contain allergens, poisons, and contaminants or food that is spoiled or is otherwise inedible. Eat without guilt, regardless of what society is. Man, I don't, man. Let's fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that, bro. They ain't talking about some real bullshit, bro. I hate this damn world, bro. These niggas really trying to sit up here and play like, like you can just pig out. Like, so if we was to go to those people that need to sit up there 
That's that's the problem. That's bro. This is how Satan works, bro. It's no order. It's all fucking confusion. So if we was to go to these people that be on these TV shows, that be on these TV shows, that be seven hundred, nine hundred, eight hundred pounds and shit, and they got to get lifted up with trucks and all of that to get out the houses. We gonna what we gonna what we gonna say to them? That's fat shaming. That's body shaming. We gonna say that that's healthy. We gonna say they got a healthy relationship with food because they accept all food. That's exactly what these idiots is saying. And then. You then this this look like an elder. You'd expect more knowledge to be coming from a person like this. But even that just goes to show, bro. Even even the old heads is just is just toaster strudel. Yeah. Maya Finnefull, Maya, what to say? Is Maya Finnefull a human rights advocate and model who uses them pronouns? Who uses? Who uses they them pronouns? See, we all we all we had to usher that in. They use them they them pronouns. She don't even identify as a she, but we supposed to listen to what they gotta say. Diet culture is not rooted in health. It's rooted in power. Your body needs food. You don't have to earn it or burn Your body needs food. Your body doesn't need all that food. Your body doesn't need an overindulgence in food. Your body don't need so much food that you can't get out of bed in the morning. Yes, your body does need food. But you're supposed to, bro. We, I even battle, bro. The gluttony shit, bro. I battle with the gluttony shit, bro. I battle with the gluttony shit. I'm not out here just judging niggas on some shit where it's like I ain't been there. I battle with gluttony, bro. I didn't sit up there and had to go practice fasting, going three, going two, three days without food or drink. Dry fast. I was going a regular fast, dry fast, going three days, two days, no food, no water, just straight starving my body out for the most high, bro. I had to do this. I got to do this type of shit. Because this shit is very much so real, bro. That spirit of gluttony is so real, dog. I'm the I'm the kind of person where it was like, I can't eat dinner without dessert. Like I gotta have something sweet. I have to have something sweet after I eat, bro. And then when I get sweet, can't be no regular sweet shit. I need triple chocolate overload. I need a brown. I need ice cream. If I was to go to a restaurant, I'm getting the chocolatiest thing they got. It gotta have. It got to have ice cream. It got to have brownies. Got to have chocolate syrup. Got to have chocolate chips. It, it got to be chocolate overload. I I I was I need sweet stuff. Like, I, I, bro. Bro, I go crazy when it comes to the sweet. The dog acts, and you can ask anybody that know me. I go crazy when it comes to the sweets. I need, I go crazy when it comes to cheese, bro. If y'all gonna, if y'all gonna know anything about Born Row, bro, he loves cheese bro i love cheese six cheese ten cheese all of that i need the cheese that's something i bro i need it i need it bro i can't i feel incomplete eating food if it don't got cheese on it or with it or some kind of thing but i hate cheese on ramen noodles bro i'm not that cra i'm not that dilute i'm not that insane if you put if you grab a slice of american cheese and melt that shit over your your ramen noodles bro you, you need to see somebody because something is really wrong with you. But I'm not that bad. But, you know, if I got a pizza, if they got a six cheese pizza option, getting it. They got a ten cheese macaroni option, getting it. Three cheese bread, getting it. Uh, anything, anytime you go onto a menu and you scroll and then you see through the menu and it say a number cheese, like three cheese, four cheese, five cheese, six cheese. Just know I'm getting it. Like, if I see that, that that's what I'm going to go with. Nine times out of ten, I love cheese. I need it. And then after the cheese, I don't hesitate to go to the chocolate. Give me the chocolate ice cream with the chocolate brownies and the chocolate syrup, chocolate chips. Give me all of that. I need it. I need it. So, now imagine what, it, what my orders look like if I go to Domino's. I'm getting cheese bread, cheesy pizza, and I'm getting a chocolate lava cake. If I'm going to Checkers, I need a big Buford, cheese fries, a milkshake. Like, it has to be, it has to, I have to. And then, I'm the type, I don't hesitate 
from eating the dessert in the in the in the food at the same time. I'm, that's just what I do. I, if I got a milkshake, bro, I'm gonna drink the milkshake while I eat the food. If I got something sweet, I'm gonna. If I got a cake, I'm gonna eat the cake, and then while I eat the food, bro, it's all gluttony, bro. You shouldn't have to do it. Then I don't think. And then I don't feel content in what I eat unless my stomach is popping out and I just can't move until I'm like full, full, bro. All of that is the spirit of gluttony, bro. You shouldn't have to be like that. You should be able to eat moderately and then eat till you complete. Like, just eat to your hunger bar. Hold on, what is this? What is they talking about, bro? Oh, no, that's old. You should be able to eat to your hunger bar is, like, complete. And it shouldn't have to be to the point where you overload it and you can't move. It shouldn't be to the point where you, you shouldn't eat anything. You shouldn't eat anything that when you done eating it, you feel like you didn't just died. Or, like, you didn't just... You just can't do nothing else. And that's that shit with, like, you ever, bro, if anybody who ever just decided, you know what, fucking, I'm going to eat a cool salad today. When you eat that salad, you good. Like, you like, damn, I'm content with what I ate. And I feel like I can still live life and I don't have to take no nap. Bro, that's how it's supposed to be. Bro, these people talking about some bullshit, bro. They talking about some absolute garbage. Then there's all sorts of spirits and shit inside of this fool nowadays, bro. I'm going to just go to my testimony from last night, bro. Last night, bro, it was late night. I, we, we ain't, I ain't ate all day, bro. So I had to, if you, bro, if you, if you live in Detroit and you live, you live in Detroit, bro, you know when late night, not when it's late night, bro, you got a couple options. Depending on how early you check, you may have Taco Bell available. You might have McDonald's available. But when you get into deeper into the night, we pushing like after midnight, bro, the eight, the 1 a.m., the 2 a.m. and all of that, your only option is Coney. Because Coney going to be the only thing that's going to run 24-7. Coney Island. If you don't know, if you're not from Detroit or whatever, I don't, I don't know where else Coney Island at, but that's like our version of Waffle House, essentially. So, Coney Island. So, when you, bro, when, you, we, when we pulled up to that Coney, Bro, when we got that Coney, bro, it was all fun and games. It was all fun and games when I was over here. I had a fried chicken pita, you know, fried chicken inside of a pita with tomato, lettuce, American cheese in it, melted, a little ranch, the homemade ranch, you know, threw that mug on there. Fun fact, I don't even mess with ranch. I only mess with ranch if it's from, like, Coney or some other places where they actually whip up the ranch homemade. All of that Hidden Valley and all of that, bro, I will never eat no thick-ass Hidden Valley Ranch or nothing like that. However, so boom. Um, and I had that and some chili cheese fries. Yo. Yo. And, and I had some Kool-Aid. Yo. When I tell you, dog, I was really fighting demons in my sleep. Not in my sleep, bro, but I woke up in the middle of the night. And I swear I was actually battling something. I was really battling something, and I did not realize it for the longest. Like, I just woke up in the middle of the night, and I just couldn't go back to sleep for the life of me. I had a horrible feeling in my stomach. I had a horrible feeling in my chest a little bit. It just felt like I had a dark cloud inside of my body. And I was just like, and then I just kept crying. Like, I literally, I wasn't like crying boo-hooing but my eyes kept watering like from both sides like I could just kept leaking I'm like damn and then bro I had to literally sit up there and pray like I really had to sit up there and pray and was like I just asked I just bro I asked God and I was like bro I said I said bro this is what y'all gotta do bro and you sometimes bro if you feel like you just really battling something bro you gotta call out to the sun bro I said in Christ's name, I said, rebuke all these spirits, bro. Cast these spirits to hell. Get these spirits out of my house. Get them off of my partner, like, all of this shit. I'm like, bro, get all these spirits out of here, bro. And then, next thing I knew, the air in the house, bro, niggas don't think, oh, he, he bullshit, bro. But this is the this is the actual power that you have that y'all don't be utilizing. That's So, next thing I knew, when I start breathing in and out, bro, the air just felt like it literally got purified. And I couldn't put my finger on if the air was this clean just a second ago before I prayed. 
But I was like, it had to, it couldn't have been. Because how did I just notice that this air is this pure right now? Like, I'm breathing in and out. I'm like, it just felt real good to breathe in. And I'm like, damn. I was like, this air is clean as fuck now. And then I was like, that shit is crazy. And then I just kept breathing and just breathing. I'm like, bro, this air is so clear. This air is so clear. And then my, bro, then... I just start dozing off. I just really start dozing off, and I actually went to sleep. But I was up for about an hour. I was up for about a whole hour trying to go back to sleep, like literally battling. Like, oh, my God, I can't go back to sleep. Eyes watering, chest and his stomach feel like garbage. And, bro, that shit really be like that, bro. Well, I sat up there and ate Taco Bell a, few, a week ago. After I ate that shit, bro, I had a whole dark cloud in my chest. Bro, this shit is really real, bro. Do not listen to these niggas talking, to sitting up here talking about, oh, all food is good food, bro. The, the, bro, Leviticus even t- will tell you, bro, the Bible will tell you all food ain't no damn good food. And then niggas like this, like I said, I already went over the laws, done away with bullshit. But why would, why would the Most High tell us not to eat these things if it wasn't a specific reason that we wasn't supposed to do it, bro? It's because all of that shit will literally kill you, bro. All of that lobster seafood pork all of that bro all of that shit will literally kill you that should have had you rolling in your grave at, at the ages of 50 bro y'all niggas that hit 50 and be battling shit every night because you can you didn't consumed all of these bottom feeders and that's all in your spirit and your spirit is all dirty and unclean you're gonna be having fucking sleep paralysis and all sorts of shit bro y'all better quit playing let's go the harm starts young children internalize that phobia by the age of five Diet culture is fat phobia. It can't be reformed if- Diet culture is fat phobia. See, that's the thing. That's another thing, bro. That's that's really how Satan be, bro. I swear, if you was to ask any of these people, bro, would they trade all of this in for a six-pack, bro? Bro, they bought the- Bro, they gonna be like, sign me up. These people, are, bro, if- if, if Nigga, if an Agent Smith came up to these niggas' glasses in a suit, gave them a contract, it was like, just sign this, six-pack, all of that. They wouldn't even read the contract. They'll fuck around and sell their soul away to get the, to get, to get a damn six-pack, some abs, some, a toned body, a healthy diet, and all of that. Bro, they would do that shit in a heartbeat. They just don't want to because it's too much work. If it was a magic button that would have reverted them, bro, they would have did that shit easily. But they too, they feel like they too far off. They can't imagine life without cupcakes and, and sweets and goodies. They can't imagine life without it. So why why would I sit up there and work on trying to why would I sit up there and work so I can better accept myself when I can perpetuate this lie and make the world accept me instead? Let's go. Bars. We spent tonight. Today. Let's be abolished. Hold on, what? Where is fat phobia? It can't be reformed. It must be abolished. Diet culture must be abolished. See, they they don't even want you. They don't even want you to be healthy. They want everybody like them. That's how I say in work. You want everybody to join the party. That's how I work with the other with the other group. It can't just be them doing their own thing. They want everybody to be joining and doing what they're doing. So it's not enough for them to just be obese. They want everybody to be obese. They saying, bro, you going on diets, bro, you being real fat phobic right now. They'll fuck around and get offended. They probably drive past the gym and just be offended as fuck that there's so many people in there working out. Like, oh my God, why are they working out and not just accepting their bodies and eating whatever they want to eat? Like, the hell is wrong with you? Because people want to be in shape and they want to live, bro. This, this is all anti-life. This is all Satan. If this, if this is not Satan, what is? Bro, these, you telling me these, bro, you think, bro, you think, bro, bro, do you think, do you think that these folks that's, that's, that's obese, I'm not even about to talk about her specifically, but you think these folks that's eating whatever they want over, well over their weight that they supposed to be for their height, you mean to tell me that you really think that these people is going to live long and, and long and, um, um, just long lives like you think they're gonna live really long lives bro this is not healthy bro this shit ain't healthy the most high talk about this gluttonous shit bro 
this is a it's a sin for a reason it's a part it's a seven daily sin for a reason come on what are we talking about this is all anti-life bro this is all they want you to eat everything they want you to eat all of the bullshit why do you think bro did y'all see did y'all see hold on bro hold on bro I let me pull this up let me just pull this up bro this is america bro This is America, bro. This is what we do. This is what we do nowadays. Do y'all see this shit, bro? The donut burger. This is what TGI Fridays had. Do that look like, bro? I can feel that in my chest right now. I feel like off the first bite, I'm going to be like my man from SpongeBob. Who, who had to get rushed to the hospital right away off the first off the first joint this looked like death like incarnate this is america though this is what we do now this is how they want all of us to be this is how they want all of us to eat because all foods is good foods you shouldn't have to work out or none of that shit they want you to just consume this and go on about your day Take your nap and go on about your day until you get hungry again, until you want some more shit like Taco Bell or something. Until you want a grilled cheese burrito. Diet Coke. See, bro, this, bro, this shit, bro, this shit is, this shit is a recipe to bring people into early graves, bro. Satan works from all different avenues. It ain't just through modern men and modern women. It ain't just through that talking point. It ain't just through lust and all of that, bro. He works in all sort. he works in every way imaginable, bro. They look like bots. They don't even look. They look like agents. Sweet and popular, but true facts about obesity. Number one, fat phobia and racism are the main reason why black people have a higher rate of certain illnesses. Fat phobia and racism is the main reason why black people have a higher rate. Of, no, black people have a higher rate of certain illnesses because they can't lay off of the goddamn captain jays and and the damn captain jays and kool-aid combination because they can't lay off for the coney do y'all see bro because black people bro black because black because black i ain't gonna just put that on black people but because motherfuckers i'm niggas i'm gonna just say niggas honestly fuck it because niggas niggas want to sit up there and get high and then get and then become a bottomless pit to where, bro, you know when you get high and then you just become a bottomless pit. Like, you just want to eat, 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 bro. Niggas, bro, the combination I've been seeing niggas do lately, niggas love to get high and then go to Coney or whatever and then get these goddamn chili and cheese hot Cheetos or some shit. Like, like a walking taco, but instead of, like, nachos, it's hot Cheetos. Bro, these niggas, bro. Bro, y'all are... Begging for high blood pressure in the early grave, hot Cheetos over, over nacho cheese and 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 and, and what's that? And and ground beef and all of that, bro. What would be wrong with y'all? What is, bro? You might as well, bro. If you eating, bro, anytime. If you had the nerve to sit up there and you see this video and you got the judge and anybody who ate this, this is what it looked like when you get that hot Cheeto walking taco bullshit. This it's the it's in the exact same family. If you was to sit up there and put let me where that poster at? If you was to sit up there and put them damn hot Cheeto, them hot Cheeto nachos that y'all be getting right here, remove this 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 is O D too. Look at this. This is like what is that three burgers and chicken on a skewer? Oh my goodness. I I actually had this. See see I'm 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 I'm, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with y'all. I actually ate this. This mozzarella stick burger, but this is what this is the this is what this is what we do. This is America. So, but if you was to put them damn hot Cheeto nachos right down here, bro, it's all in the same family. This is all oh, this is all just a recipe for death, bro. This is Satan food, bro. And then y'all get high and then y'all sit up there and overdose on shit like that, bro. That's why, that's why is we catching all of these illnesses, bro. And then, cause we got, then we got our people being the face of this bullshit all the time. Every time there's some bullshit rolling around, 
Look at them. They're trying to get me together. Our people end up being the face of it. She up here promoting this nonsense. What the hell is, bro? Maybe sit, bro. Go, 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 go. Sit down somewhere and bake and and bake bake your grandkids some damn cookies. Black people have a higher rate of certain illnesses. Number two, stigmatizing black women for their weight leads to inappropriate weight loss prescription. There is nothing else here about regaining the weight back and forth to fit into a healthy BMI. And this leads to shame, guilt, and depression. Number three, a and then, bro, if y'all really, bro, you can see, bro, only the, bro, if you got the eyes to see and the ears to hear, bro, she's saying a whole bunch of nothing, bro. She's really just saying a whole bunch of nothing. Where do, where do these, where do they be getting these facts? Like, this shit, bro, this shit really sound, it doesn't even sound like facts coming out of her mouth. It's no, it's no numbers. It's no numbers and nothing she's saying. She's just talking. Like, li really listen to what she's saying and ask yourself main reason why black people have a higher rate of certain illnesses one of that's the key words one fat hold on hold on hold on number one fat phobia and racism are the main reason why black people have a higher rate of certain illnesses number two Stigmatizing black women for their weight leads to inappropriate weight loss prescription. There is nothing else here about regaining the weight back and forth Says who? to fit into a healthy BMI. And this leads to shame, guilt, and depression. Number three, a 71 billion industry profits from the oppression and shame of black women's body, the diet industry. Says don't let the diet industry you know who's profiting i bet a billion times more than what she than than whatever she's talking about this a bill a 71 billion dollar industry a 71 billion dollar industry billion a 71 billion industry profits from the oppression whatever you know who profits way more from what the message that she's spouting these folks right here they profit at least a hundred times more than whatever she's talking about from the from the message she's spewing. It's, do she work? Do she work for? I don't even know the people who own bro. McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell, Wendy's, White Castles, Checkers slash Rallies, fucking what churches, Popeyes, KFC. It's a reason these sub Subway in in some cases. Little Caesars, Pizza Hut, Hungry Howie's, Domino's, Jets, Papa John's, Papa Romano's, all of these places, bro. You know why these places are on every corner of the damn street? Why you can't go down? Why and some, bro, we was in Pontiac the other day, bro. Why was KFC, no, it wasn't. It was Wendy's, Burger King, McDonald's, and Wendy's. Wendy's, it was Wendy's, Burger King, McDonald's, and Taco Bell, I think. All right next to each other, like literally right next to each other. Why do you think that is? They profit at least a hundred times more from. They profit at least a hundred times more from this message, this demonic ass message, than whoever you talking about profiting from making people diet. From making people diet, bro. You think that's that's the battle you want to fight? That those that's the battle you choose to fight over obesity and that's the side that you join you join you literally sold your soul that's when people say people selling their souls it's shit like this bro because you just really sold your soul to the devil like you straight you gave your shit up you had to just have given your shit up for free because it ain't no way who because you can't serve the most high spouting this nonsense you can't serve him spouting this nonsense bro on no occasion and shame of black woman's body the diet industry and then see how she's pandering, focusing on on the black woman. If it's really about, you know, if it's about um, just body positivity or whatever you you trying to, why is it about? Why is it so focused on the black woman? Your message is not even for everybody. You just talking the black woman, the black woman, the black woman. I get it. You're a black woman. I get it. I get it. But what I'm talking about to counter whatever this nonsense is you're talking about is not about the black woman. It's not about the black woman. It's about the pe it's about our people. It's about everybody. It's about everybody. Cause this is a gluttony is a is a thing in everybody's lives. It's not just the black woman. Ruin your summer. You don't have to suffer from being restricted of meals. 
because you're fat. Black and brown people do have disparate health outcomes, but that's more so because of socioeconomic circumstances than racism. Two different things. And if we're serious about saving black lives, we are wasting our time fighting and marching against racism. We should be holding each other accountable for the... Racism is a fundamental driver of health disparities. It's the reason why black folks have less access to affordable and nutritious food. It's also the reason why we have less access to... Wow, so you just countered your, home, your own argument. You talking about it's why we have... Oh my God. Why does it matter if we don't have... Op, if we don't have... If we don't have the same options to the more healthy and the more nutritional foods? Why is it... Why does that matter? If your message is eat whatever you want to eat and eat everything, why would you even mention the fact that we have less access to healthy and nutritional foods better yet why do you think it is that we have less access to more healthy and nutritional foods hmm hmm doesn't it sound like there are people that may be trying to for real bro don't you don't you think that means there's more wouldn't that mean that there are people that are trying to destroy black people or don't what don't that doesn't that give you an idea that people are trying to make sure that we stay eating White Castle, Taco Bell, McDonald's, Burger King, Coney Island, and all of that? Don't you think it's a specific reason why it's so many of those places in the black community, in the ghettos, why it's so many fast food places everywhere? Hmm. Hmm. Why is it only why have I only ever seen one Whole Foods ever in, in the city? Not even in the city. I had to go out the city to see a Whole Foods. Why hmm. Why do you think that is? Why even bring that up though? When your message is eat whatever. According to you, we should be we should we should be killing. Oh, we should we got it good according to you because if it's Taco Bell, McDonald's and all of that shit and I can go over there with $20 and damn near buy out the whole menu. Don't you think don't you think we got it good? We got cheaper food options. We we living good. We got all of the cheaper food. Man, ain't no nigga, nigga. It's no restaurants for real in in the city, bro. It's no restaurants for real in the city. You gotta drive far out to get to any kind of restaurant, like some real restaurants, bro. Isn't bro? Come on now, come on now. Yeah, we got we got the soul food spots, the low key soul food spots, but nigga. Yo, message, we got it good, bro, because all our food, we got all of the cheap fast food. So we should be good. If yo, if I was to follow her message and eat everything like she's telling me to, then we got it good because we get to eat all of the bullshit. So why even mention that? You just contradicted yourself. Healthcare. Also, what else? And nutritious food. It's also the reason why we have less access to quality health care. Also, blaming black people for the... So, of the so... If you know, if you about to, if you going on this tangent, and you know all of the disadvantages we got when it comes to getting healthy food and all of that. Why would you sit up there and spew out your mouth that we shouldn't be going on diets? We should eat everything, bro. This woman worked for the damn devil, y'all. This this is a damn this is a Satan this is a demon possessed person that's looking at us right now that's close that's close as hell to the goddamn screen. Mad I at them that are really killing black America is anti black. Let's be clear. Hold on. The system that are really killing black America is anti black. You're you're Let's anti black, ma'am. Cause if you talking about if we want to talk about what's killing what's killing black people, this is what's killing black people. This is why we dropping dead at 50. This, this type of shit. This is what's killing black people. So you're anti-black, man, according to what you just said. Here, but we already knew that. Not so the health disparity issue. We have to talk about racism, accessibility, and all the system holding us back. We don't need accountability. We need to create... We do need to talk about that. Accessibility and all but the So the health disparity issue. A healthier diet definitely will help you. Like... Instead of, see, this is the problem with black people, bro. Instead of, t instead of taking care of yourself, instead of taking care of yourself, making sure you don't eat certain things, making sure you don't eat bullshit foods, making sure that you work out and diet and all of that type of stuff and watch your, and watch your caloric intake, 
instead of doing all of that, your message is to not do that. You saying that will not solve your health issue. Instead of doing that, you said we need to sit up there and go after the white man and tell them to put more Whole Foods around, make it cheaper, give us this, give us that, give us this, give us that, but you don't want to do a damn thing for yourself. You don't want to do a damn thing for your damn self. This is why black people will stay at the goddamn bottom. Y'all motherfuckers don't want to do shit for yourselves. It's always, white man, white man, please, please do something for me, please. Until then, bro. Bro, oh my God, and these niggas are so dumb. This is not our land. We are visitors here, bro. This is not our land. You are never going to get equality on this land because it's not ours. Why is that so hard for people to understand? Why is that so complicated? You want equality in a land where you're not meant to be equal. That's just your destiny here. You're never going to be equal, bro. You're never going to be equal. That's why I was talking about, this is a tangent, but that's why I was talking about the T-Pain shit when it came to the Twitch. We got all these YouTubers on here crying, not saying nothing wrong with that, but they all, we all these YouTubers and Twitch people talking, oh my God, why are we not equal to them? You're never going to be in no avenue on this land are you going to be equal to them, bro. Never. Because you're not even meant to be equal to them because you're the chosen ones. We're not equal to them on a grand. They know we're not equal to them, y'all. We're the children of Israel. We're not We're not equal to them. They know that. They know we, bro. Bro, they know we're the chosen ones. We know they know we're the original people of this earth, bro. They know this is all ours, which is why they have to make it seem keep us below. That's why they have to make it seem like Oh, we're not equal. That's why they have to make y'all fight for all of this bullshit that y'all are never going to get. But this is the problem with our people, bro. Instead of t telling people, okay, instead of, you, instead of using this knowledge to tell people, this is what's going on, this is what you should be doing, because we're, instead of telling people how to diet and manage their food and avoid the spirit of gluttony and all of that, you say, eat whatever the fuck you want to eat and don't diet. Instead, ask the white man to give you the. Instead, ask the white man for permission to go on a proper diet and eat the proper foods. Cause you want you want to sit up there and doom all of these people that may be battling with this by feeding into their delusion, and instead tell them to just wait until the white man inevitably. Or the leaders of the, I'm even gonna say to put a race on it, even though we, yeah, I'm, you, you, bro. Instead, let's beg the the powers that be for an opportunity to properly diet. But at the end of the day, but it's it's so damn stupid. Because at the end of the day, so what if let's just hypothetically, what if they did decide to sit up there and put a bunch of Whole Foods in the hood, give us proper restaurants, give us all of this healthy food that we can easily access and all of that? Then what? Then it's time to properly diet. Why would I wait till then and not start now if it's all gonna be the same in the end? If we do get what you're saying, we need to be waiting on this shit is retarded, bro. This woman sold out. But I don't even actually I don't even want to hear her say another word, bro. That's the video for today. This shit getting long. This is boring, bro. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We do these joints live. Come in, come in, come in. Chop it up with me if you, that's why you should turn the bell on. My thoughts is all over the place. But like the video. Make sure you like, 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 like the video. Because that helps spread the video to a grander audience. And that's how we get in the algorithm. And that's how more people can get these messages, bro. But Again, that's the video for today. Love y'all. Take care. Stay safe. I'm on y'all, boys. Ah. This that reality shit.